Natalie. I'm a hardware development engineer at Amazon. My name is Marcel. I've been with Amazon for just over 10 years. I actually started as an intern. I've mentored several interns. And most importantly, I've interviewed quite a few interns. I'm excited to share with you today a couple tips and tricks about interviewing for the hardware development engineer role here at Amazon. For the technical portion of your interview, there are going to be three main areas of focus. You have your debugging, your EE fundamentals, and your technical problem solving. For debugging, someone might ask you about how you had to solve an issue on a project that you're working on. We're really looking for like a high level, step-by-step -step debugging routine that you could apply to almost any problem you might run into. The electrical engineering fundamentals will likely be on your interview at some point. So asking questions about RC filters, or circuits or how to drive an LED properly. I highly recommend you review your like basic circuit class notes. Those are gonna be so helpful. You might be asked about embedded systems or interfacing with microcontrollers, how sensors talk to microcontrollers, how to interface LEDs to GPIOs, for example. Walk us through your thought process as you're going. Don't just sit there and struggle. We wanna hear what you're thinking and we can help guide you. I highly recommend that you come prepared with some really good stories about technical work that you've done, where things got complicated or rushed or you had some challenge to overcome. How you started with the design or how you started approaching the problem, setting up the situation, talking about what you did and then how you resolved it or how you made a design decision trade off and came to the solution that you did. It's mostly gonna be verbal and just us talking things out. But sometimes you might be asked to draw a circuit or look at a circuit diagram that someone's handed to you to help assess or analyze an example. So I would have like a piece of paper and a pen nearby. A common pitfall that we see in technical interviewing is not talking through your thought process. Sitting too quietly while trying to think about the answer to their question. Any assumptions you're making, make sure you state those and or ask to clarify if you have different restrictions. The interviewer is going to be on your side. They might be asking you leading questions or giving you hints. I think it's important to take those and show that you're coachable and willing to learn. Sometimes you might not know the answer to the question or how to solve a problem, and that's okay. Just be sure to ask clarifying questions. If you don't think you know the answer, start on it anyway. Talk through your thought process and help the interviewer understand where you're getting held up or what the limitations are. Show us that you can learn. My last piece of advice, take a couple deep breaths. It's okay to have a pause before you answer some questions or as you're working through a problem. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. And I hope to see you at Amazon soon. <laughs>